Hey YouTube, just doing a little video here on um, my setup um, with uh, as far as taking a computer on the road. I was thinking of taking my Alienware, which is an 11.6 notebook, but it is very power hungry. Um, it sucks the life out of my little uh, ammo can here. Um, so I wanted to have something um, less power demanding, but still be able to give me that sort of desktop kind of feel and this is what I come with. I've got a, a Samsung Galaxy Tab, it's only an entry level tab it only has one Type-C port so to expand the tab I've got a Type-C hub and it has a multitude of connectivity to it so one Type-C cable goes to the tablet and then one receives power which is plugged into the ammo can there and I've got this old TV which I may take with me or I may get a new monitor because it is a bit bulky, it's an old one. But it does have HDMI and the barrel plug that fits into the wall to charge it is a 5.5mm and I happen to have a 12 volt to 5.5mm uh, cable plug. Uh, and it's enough power to run the monitor, no problems at all. I've got a wireless keyboard and uh, it's actually a Bluetooth keyboard and a wireless mouse. There's the little dongle for the mouse. And uh, yeah, this draws very little power. Uh, it gives me, you know, for movie days, for example, I can go to uh, files, uh, videos, you know, um, I don't know. I've got a movie that I tried to download the other day and it worked just fine. Let's have a look whether we have Oh, and the SD card, the tablet has a one terabyte capacity for micro SD cards, so you can really expand uh, the situation. Uh, these are probably a little bit cropped. This is uh, uh, Danger Close, the Australian uh, Vietnam movie. Um, there we go, it comes on. Let's see if I can get out of here so we have full screen more or less but yeah, it gives you a slightly larger uh, screen to look at when you have movie night in the camper in the motorhome um, and with the Bluetooth speaker I have a uh, pretty good sound and yeah um, YouTube all that sort of stuff it'll let me do it uh, so it's pretty cool and also with uh, travel related stuff I'll show you what I'm doing here I'm going to go to Office and Docs, not Word, because Docs is uh, the Google equivalent, but I've got some documents. And what I'm doing is, as I uh, pinpoint a place that I want to visit, and it's broken down by state, as you can see, New South Wales, Canberra, Victoria, etc., etc., Tasmania, South Australia. Um, as I'm uh, finding these places and pinpointing these places, I've got, for example, my first stop is going to be Broomshead Caravan Park. It's New South Wales, 3 hours and 11 minutes from home. There's the phone number, there's the actual physical address and GPS coordinates for it. So I'm doing that for pretty much everything um, so that when I'm wherever I am and I'm going to go to the next location, it's not too much of a hassle. And how I've come across these um, locations, they're not only points of interest that I want to visit, but uh, we'll go to Google, see if Google Earth is there. So yeah, you go to Google Earth, and over here, there's my mouse. You go to projects um, there's all my locations and you basically add locations to your project and based on this list of locations I've created that doc, uh, Google document document and I'm able to add the GPS coordinates, addresses, phone numbers, etc. Uh, I'm not going to go to every place on lap one, but um, as I hear of a, there's a few places in Tassie as well, as I hear of places that I want to visit, 
um, I'll certainly add them and have a master list still a little bit to go here in the middle as you can see uh, but we're working on that it's early stages and uh, yeah that's what I've been doing incorporating a few things into the tablet which I'm going to use um, when the time comes and with you know, very little power consumption I can run this off a power bank actually the Goal Zero uh, Sherpa 50 runs it as well and with a little keyboard you know you can have a, a pretty good setup and some uh, pretty good sound I don't know why the Bluetooth speaker has just turned off let's see I'll turn it back on so yeah being able to have a uh, good audio I'll just uh, turn the uh, Bluetooth speaker back on once it connects um, hit play on the old player plenty of sound for what I need and uh, yeah especially when you're watching a movie gives you that um, feeling of a you know a bigger setup uh, and all packs away to nothing uh, and when I want to disconnect the tablet and just use it as a tablet well I can just grab it and use it as a tablet for you know zooming uh, skyping with the kids or checking the weather or some mapping or whatever and uh, yeah I'm gonna keep the tab fairly light I'm gonna put everything basically on the on the uh, memory card um, and it's learning to navigate Android I guess as opposed to um, Windows which everyone's used to but there are so many things it can do and uh, I'm learning as I go if I need to change the tablet to a slightly faster better tablet I will uh, but so far so good this is working out well and it's like uh, under $300 for a tab a7 which um, you know, does pretty much everything I wanted so a Bluetooth uh, speaker which is type C the tablet is type C my phone is type C the hub is type C I'm trying to keep it all um, uh, interconnected and working well um, I've only used a fraction of um, volts to do this display so I should be able to have a nice big session um, on a rainy day when you want to put a movie on and put some popcorn on and enjoy a slightly bigger display than the tablet it can be done and it can be done cheaply uh, I'm putting together a, a little Tupperware with all my cabling that I may need uh, for connecting and for charging uh, all of this can be charged via solar as well which is awesome I am trying to keep the demand low on the house batteries on the motorhome when the time comes so yeah uh, there's my little uh, entertainment setup if you like hope you enjoy it and catch you on the next video